I'd like to start off by saying sorry for stealing from the stores in China. Uh, I didn't exercise my best judgment, and I was wrong for that. I apologize to my family, my coaches, my teammates, and UCLA for letting so many people down. I also apologize to the people of China for causing them so much trouble. I'm a young man, however, it's not an excuse for making a really stupid decision. I don't feel sorry for myself, and I've learned my lesson from this big mistake, and I'm 110% sure that I'll not make a bad decision like this one again. I also like everyone to know that this does not who define who I am. My family raised me better than that, and I'm gonna make myself a better person from here on out. I'm sorry for shoplifting. What I did was stupid. There's just no other way to put it, and I'm not that type of person. I hope that this mistake will not define me as a person, but it shows I have messed up and can learn from it. I don't want to be known for this dumb mistake. I want to be known for my respectfulness and my love and passion for the game of basketball. I know that this goes beyond me letting my school down, but I let the entire country down. Before, before I thank everybody who worked so incredibly hard to help us return home safely, I want to thank the Chinese police and the government for taking care of us and treating us well during our time there. To President Trump and the United States government, thank you for taking the time to intervene on our behalf. We really appreciate you helping us out. I had a great conversation with President Xi. What they did was unfortunate. You know, you're talking about very long prison sentences. They do not play games. Uh, he was terrific, and they're working on it right now, and uh, hopefully everything's going to work out. And I know they're very grateful because they were told exactly what happened. Uh, but uh, she that's a very, very, she it's a very, very uh, rough situation with what happened to them. These three young men will remain suspended indefinitely from our program as we work through the review process with the university's Office of Student Conduct. During that indefinite suspension, they will not travel with the team, nor will they suit up for home games. At some point, they may be permitted to join team workouts, practices, and meetings, but that timeline has yet to be determined.